James rode into a Scotland guard accidentally blown away. James Roman II of Scotland got accidentally blown away. Vlad Hungary died after his throne literally collapsed underneath him. Vlad Hungary died after his throne literally collapsed underneath him. Charles Roman VIII of France died from hitting his head too hard on a door frame. George Roman II kicked the bucket while using the toilet. George Roman II reigned as King of Great Britain from 1727 until 1760, a period of tremendous growth and development for both the British nation and empire. Though George was the last British monarch not born in Britain, he spoke English with a heavy German accent. He was also the last monarch to personally fight in a battle. But his death was decidedly less regal than his tenure as British king. On October 25, 1760, the 76-year-old king visited the toilet, and while using this unroyal throne, George overstrained himself and died. Or George Roman II of Great Britain, 1029 of 2443, the most influential people of all time, three of 12 famous people who died on the toilet, 47 of 124 famous people buried at Westminster Abbey. Henry I died after going against his doctor's orders and feasting on eels. King Henry I ruled England with an iron fist. One of his weaknesses was lampreys, an eel-like bloodsucker. Henry's physician expressly forbade him to eat lampreys, but the king paid no mind. In 1135, he indulged in them while on a hunting trip and died soon after, likely as a result of the feast. The severed head of Sigurd Einstein's rival got the last bite. Sigurd Einstein was a prominent Viking leader who ruled Scotland's Orkney Islands in the late 9th century. Einstein was a fierce warrior who battled his way into the Scottish mainland. Though he agreed to a peace meeting with Mailbrick, Earl of Scots, the conference soon devolved into a fight. Einstein handily defeated Mailbrick, severed his head, and attached it to his saddle as he fled the battlefield. The motion of the horses galloping, however, caused one of Mailbrick's long teeth to scratch Einstein's leg. However, the wound soon became infected, which ultimately led to the Viking's untimely death. King Adolf Frederick of Sweden ate himself to death. King Adolf Frederick of Sweden reigned from 1751 to 1771, and he had to share most of his power with the Swedish Parliament. On February 12, 1771, Adolf Frederick sat down for a meal of caviar, lobster, but he was not satisfied with one serving of the decadent dessert. Oh no! Adolf Frederick downed 14 portions of the sweet treat. This binge literally cost the king his life, and he died that night after complaining of severe indigestion. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below, and also thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.